Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to do a Primark haul for you. I actually was, um, I just put on a little bit of makeup, a little bit of something, some mascara, just to make me feel and look a bit more alive, because I woke up about seven minutes ago, and I was supposed to go and collect my niece, but she's not awake yet, so I thought, you know what? Take this time, film a video. So they just woke up seven minutes ago, he's partially responsible for the hair, but also, as Monica would say, it's the humidity. I don't even know what to do with this hair. I said in my last video, I've got really fine hair, and it's true, it's textured as well though, is I suppose part of the problem, but really fine hair, but it just tangles all together, and then in instances such as this, they kind of gang up against me, and I often think, Maybe I'll wake up one morning or not, um, and my hair has taken over my body. Anyway, also I feel like I sound a little bit like I'm coming down with a cold. Maybe I will, just in time for holiday, that'll be about right. Uh, so I went to Primark a couple of times over the past couple of months and um, bought some things. Now, I did intend to keep absolutely everything in the bag and I wanted to show you everything for a video, but I've ended up picking things out in that time because I needed things to wear hadn't done my washing. Um, so if I remember, I'll go and find those things to show you. But, this aren't, these aren't even, are these from Primark? No, this is from Asta. So I went and got some um, t-shirts. These are from Asta, these are for Lee. I went and got a load of t-shirts for cricketing. So that sounds crazy. Not cricketing, but cricketing. Like, customising t-shirts for, I can't do, hang on. It's too much, it's too much in my face. Um, so yeah, I got some, T-shirts for customising, I've got them for me, for Ella, for Lee and for Milo, and um, I got them from various various places, Asda, Tesco and Primark. Um, most of the T-shirts that I bought from Primark, I get them from the men's section. They are £2.50, I'll go and get you a couple because I live in them, I love them so much. Um, and my plan for Florida is I'm going to wear much like this, so I've got on today just some leggings and a little kind of vest top. Um, and I'm going to just put on a big shirt or a big t-shirt over the top, but I'm going to obviously wear shorts. So I bought this shirt, which is, how much is this? Eight pounds, a big kind of khaki shirt. Um, and I thought it's going to be probably the most comfortable way of feeling kind of dressed. Because I don't, especially in Disney, you know, I'll wear whatever I'm comfortable in because it's, crazy hot in August in Florida but at the same time you kind of want to be covered to a degree don't you ultimately it comes <laughs> there are times where you just think I don't care I'm just going to wear the little crop top because it is too hot but my plan is kind of like this so imagine I'm going to wear like biker shorts um or whatever shorts I decide to wear and then just like a shirt over the top and that's going to be me feeling like I'm somewhat dressed but not too warm and not too bulky. And I, I tried not to buy anything that I wouldn't buy or I wouldn't wear again. And I would wear this. I would wear this shirt with this outfit with the leggings today. Didn't want to buy things that were like, oh, you'll only wear those on holiday. Um, that's what the crazy t-shirts were for. This couldn't be more far removed from the green one, but um, I think, they, did I say I got small? I got small in the green because this is supposed to look like this. This is supposed to be like a beach cover up. And then this, I got in a large, so I don't know whether or not, proportions sometimes are a little bit off. When you buy a regular shirt that's supposed to be, you know, a fitted shirt, um, and then you buy it massive, the oversized thing doesn't always pan out. Sometimes it just looks like, it's usually in the shoulders that it looks wrong. Uh, so this was 14 pounds. I was really, the only thing that maybe could have made this better because they had a few different color options, was like a beige. Maybe a beige would have been better. But again, this oh, this is a little bit thicker. Um, this is the vibe. So I'm gonna have like a, it's probably all black situation underneath because that is the usual vibe. And then just an enormous shirt. I love it. I really like this as I, f I feel strongly that this will, this is gonna be like my retirement wardrobe. Like maybe not so much the midriff, but this will be it. This will be in, when I'm like a, a starving probably artist. Um, I think Frankie from Grace and Frankie 
I'm going to be in my comfies with like a big massive shirt and this is good that's going to be my outfit it's giving coastal grandmother and I love it now bit of a twist on the same idea I went into the men's section the men's section's always got such cool stuff this I put on Instagram and was like what do we think should I buy this and almost everybody said no but I bought it anyway because I don't even know why I asked to be quite honest um, it, I think the context of it uh, being like I bought this for Florida was probably important. I didn't pass that along. Um, same deal. And I like that the sleeve kind of goes to there anyway. So I kind of just leave that as it is. Um, it's long. Again, I got this in a large. This goes like mid-thigh. I suppose you could potentially even wear it as a dress. Not for me, but you could. So again, it's kind of like a dad Hawaiian shirt, but I'm going to wear it in the same way that I bought the other ones to be worn. And if I wanted to, you could even tie it. I think this is really cute. I love the pattern a lot. I really do. But yeah, men's section. Men's section is where it's at. This was, can't tell you. Oh, I can, I can, I can. Nine pounds. Nine pounds for this jazzy shirt. Also, I love the feeling of it. It's really nice. It's that kind of, I want to say viscose, but that's not right at all. What's the word for the fabric? Right, it's just like, um, it's obviously a polyester, but, oh, I wonder if the label will help me out. Um, no, it will not, because none of that, oh no, some of it's in English, mm, not a lot. Yeah, I don't really get it, I don't know. But there's a word for that kind of, I want to say it begins with a V, but I can't remember. Uh, right, these are the t-shirts that I was talking about. I've got them in, oh. Let me count the ways. I've got like a coral pink, a purple, uh, multiple, but I got like five or six of the purples in the end um, because I got them for me and for Ella. I love the purple colour. Um, a beige, obviously. I don't know, loads. And then this green, which again, I have a couple of these as well. Uh, these are £2.50 from the men's section. And again, so, so soft. So really, really nice. Like a very, it's like a, th a slightly thicker t-shirt, but it's not like, um, you know, those where you get kind of super creasy thick t-shirts. It's a really soft t-shirt and I've had them for ages. I've washed them and washed them and they wear really nicely. Um, so yeah, these are the ones that I bought for Lee and I and Milo. No, not Lee and I and Milo, Lee and I and Ella to customize for Disney. But I will wear these forever. Like I, these are kind of t-shirts I wear around the house anyway. So even if I've like put, I'm gonna tie dye them and like put logos and stuff on them, I'll still wear them around the house. Um, this is two separate visits, so uh, this is the one that's the longest ago, I think, so I can't even remember. Uh, obviously socks, obviously. I bought myself seven pairs. I could probably do with more because since I've been doing like the concrete and candle and stuff, um, I walk around the house with socks on all the time because I need to be able to take the socks off. Because Lee was saying the other day, you need to not do this with socks on because you're ruining all your socks. Because I'm getting like um, dyes that I'm using in the cement on the floor, I'm standing in it socks and I said but the problem is I can't take off my feet so I have ruined many socks maybe I'll tie dye the socks <gasps> maybe I'll tie dye the socks but I bought myself seven pairs and I'm starting to think maybe I'll just go back and get another seven pairs because I probably could do with a brand new pair for every day that we're there but also actually a brand new pair of white socks for a lot of days because I've ruined so many this I've already used but I must have thrown it back in the bag to tell you I bought it the niacinamide um come on Sheet mask, love. The whole nice in my range from Primark is fantastic. Um, I bought more of these, I live for these. They are, oh, especially because I've got like the, the wild crazy hair. In the summertime, what I like to do, show you for a second, is, uh, let me get you. Oh, it's just how you deal with this. And it's raining outside as well. So when, it, when I go outside, it's only gonna get like, damp so then it's going to look even worse but still be massive um so my favorite out of the out of the face but not high on my head so it's going to give me a headache is just that it's full 80s i don't even care because it's so comfortable it's like just gets it off my face off my face every time i go to the hairdresser um she just trims a little bit more like i have these little kind of uh, curtain bang situations trims a little bit more and I'm like oh, I don't know about this guys because I just ate fit in my face it looks really nice and if it's styled it looks really nice 
I'm not going to style it. Okay, on to the next bag. I have a couple of masks in the very top. I bought a uh, pair of nail clippers. This is going to seem mad, but um, for the candles that I make, I'm obviously a brand new pair um, that's never been used on any nails, uh, but I bought a pair of nail clippers because when I was using scissors and various other things, I thought, there's got to be a, a be there's got to be an easier way. There's got to be a better tool to clip and trim the wick because everything I was using, it was like, I was really having to go at it. Nail clippers. I had a brainwave when we were going through the checkout. They work amazing. So that's my now my specifically my candle making nail trimmers. Um, I got some uh, hair treatment, a blonde hair treatment because I could probably do with toning my hair anyway. But especially when we've been in the Florida sun, so I'm going to throw that in my suitcase. Um, and then I got a couple of these because they were 50p each. The probiotic sheet mask um, from the moisturising range. I just love a sheet mask. I stopped for a while. I was like, this is really wasteful. I'm not doing sheet masks anymore. And oh, I got another one of the blonde masks as well. Um, and honestly, I just am. I just am doing sheet masks anymore. I'm sorry because it's not good for the environment. I know some of them are biodegradable and whatever now, but that's just what the situation is. Right, so it, it would seem the rest of this bag is those t shirts that I told you about. So now I'll show you a white one, another white one. This is the coral that I was talking about. Love, love. Uh, another white one and a grey one. The grey, again, even the grey. It's, they're so, so nice. This one's got a little bit of stretch to it. I don't know if it's the same range. No, this is four pounds. This is a different range. I think this was the one because the ones I like, they're a little bit boxy for Lee. He's really long in the body and I'm hilariously short in the body. Um, so he got these ones, which are a little bit more expensive, but they're longer and they're kind of stretchy and a little bit slimmer. Whereas for me, I mean, just to kind of give you an indication, where is it? This is my bottom rib and this is my hip. That's how much torso I have. I don't know. That's my bottom rib and that's my hip. So I always laugh because when I lie on my side, you know when you like lie on your side and you're like that, my hip and my rib touch. When I'm just lying on my side, I'm like not even stretching. They're just like Because the top half of myself, if I, I'm just completely disproportionate. I know there's some of you out, some of you short bodied people out there, um, but my friend and I always used to joke because she's kind of long in the torso and short or in the legs and I'm long in the legs and short in the torso and I said it's like we're two stolen cars that have been welded back together incorrectly because neither of us are proportionate but in the opposite way. Um, right, well that's everything. Oh, that's not. I forgot to show you this. I got this specifically to review for you guys, which I'm not doing anymore if you watched that video. Um, I'm not buying anything just because I'm like, oh, that'll be interesting on YouTube. I'm not doing that anymore. It's been 13 years. I'm 37 years old. Get a grip. Um, I only want to talk about stuff that I just want to talk about in the moment. Maybe that means that I see something and I think I want to try that, but I'm not buying things for content anymore. Um, and this is the Prep and Perfect Vitamin Enriched Moisturising Primer, which is supposed to be their dupe for um, the Wobby Brown, which I really do like. So I am interested. I am. I'm interested to see what it's like. In fact, I put the Bobby Brown one on this morning as my regular moisturiser. It doesn't smell anything like the Bobby Brown one. Ooh. The texture. Oh, the texture is similar. It really is similar. I'm excited to try this. I don't know what it smells like, but it kind of, I don't know. That is similar. It really, it, that's, there's something. We'll see, we'll see. I, I will let you know, I will keep you posted, but that is everything. I bought an incredible number of t-shirts, um, some baggy shirts, some random clips and things. Primark hauls are not what they used to be. They aren't. Um, I think I also bought other things, but I just pulled them out because those bags have been on my landing for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, just looking at me like, are you ever going back to YouTube? Are you ever going to make a video again? I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but I did. So I, I hope this was, um, Everything you dreamed of and hoped for when you clicked on a Primark haul, I hope that you, uh, because I've said, oh, I've got a Primark haul, a haul to film, maybe eventually I'll film this Primark haul. I'm, I'm really hoping for those of you who were like, oh, I can't wait for it to finally put up that Primark haul, 
that it really lived up to your expectations that you just wanted to see me haul 18 t-shirts but it is what it is um, I will be back soon with another I'm sure lackluster video for you I do I promise I am going to do the, the vintage haul because it's a real mix of things one of which actually I was going to pull out to wear today because again I just love this is a the whole thing of like usually a full length vest but whatever it's it's warm um the whole black outfit milk tray man vibes and then in the winter a long cardigan how amazing is this cardigan this cardigan is from Zara I would never ever ever in a million bajillion years have purchased this cardigan because it will have been so expensive and I can't do it uh, but I bought it from Vinted for like eight pounds how gorgeous is it I just feel like look sure and then you see my hair then you see my hair and it's like not so much not so much I have to be somewhere later I'm going out for dinner what am I going to do with this <sighs> I don't know <sighs> also I just had my third low piercing which by the way I don't think it's actually even a low piercing that I've always said I'll never have up here pierced because that's too scary too painful this is what I think this pain it, it hurts it's been a week so painful so so painful and I keep catching it keep catching it with my hair with my stupid hair so yeah I'm gonna do a vintage haul for you very soon all that is to say uh thanks so much for I don't know why I'm over here thanks so much for sticking with me and watching till the end if you haven't already and you are still watching now either you're stuck under something heavy and I really hope you manage to signal for help um, or you actually enjoyed this in which case you definitely need to subscribe um, I'll see you guys in my next one bye